What's up, everybody? It's your boy Crazy Al Kane, SugarCane.com, CAC TV, representing right here with the legend Billy Griggs. What? The real Billy. <laughs> <laughs> not up? not the imposter you met up with yeah. at Toy Fair back in February, the guy that was uh, hawking toys. Exactly. <laughs> Billy's uh, came all the way out to the East Coast to represent and kick some behind out here in the track, man, representing. What class is it again? It's uh, 46 and over expert. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. And he's getting it in like the young boys right now, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to do a bike check real quick, a brand new bike check. Billy Griggs is rocking on a nice bike. He's going to tell us all about it right now. All right, well, so what we've got here is we've got the uh, the brand new Chase RSP3. I ride the XL Pro XL Plus size, and um, you know it comes in a lot of new colors this year. And you can you can do the black and the white and the polished in three different color schemes with the graphics. You can do the black and blue, the black and red, and just the all traditional black. Of course, then we're outfitted with the 11 Pro SLT bar. We've got the 11 7.0 20 mil through axle fork, Sun Envy rims with the Stealth Pro hubs. So over to the seat and seat post and seat clamp, we've got 11 technologies there, which of course, if you didn't know, that is a uh, BMX Racing Group uh, brand as well as you know Chase is. Um, we've got the new Aero seat tube on the RSP3 this year, which uh, one of the really cool things about it is with the popularity of quick releases um, these days, you know you have to tighten those things a lot in the course of a day, switching out your you know your seat post, your cool down seat, and all that stuff. So what's nice about the Aero is that it keeps that seat lock straight, so it's one more th one less thing to worry about, and um, also since the seat can't twist you don't have to tighten the quick release as tight as you once did and you know if you run your seat 80s height like I sometimes do well then there's going to be a little bit of an arrow advantage too <laughs> <laughs> over to the uh, cranks and brakes we run the Shimano DXR and um, I run that stuff by choice because um, I just think it's the best stuff out there that I can be running so um, they only sponsor pros not old washed up pros so um, I have to acquire those on my own but I do it anyway over to the uh, tires we've got the Tioga power band and Tioga power Power block. These are uh, really, really fine racing tires. Let me tell you, I, I was on something different the last two years, and the switchover has been incredible this year. XT mountain bike clipless, uh, like trail pedal. So it's a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller pedal than some of their BMX dedicated ones, but I have them on my mountain bike, so I'm used to them. So I ride them on my BMX bike too. V11 bar lock stem. I run the 53 millimeter. Um, I've also got that upgraded with titanium bolts, um, also carbon fiber spacers, and the 11 headset sealed cartridge to uh, round out the steering compartment. Up to the grips, we're on ODI because Phil Maxwell, my man, takes good care of me with those and that is the ODI Zen grip I should know because they keep me calm on the gate when it's main time so up front for the uh, ID so they know just who I am coming across the finish line I've got the uh, insight technologies vision 3d plate again that is a BMX racing group uh, brand so you know along with the 11 and chase um, we've got the insight plate to go along and my custom inserts are done by nobody better than Brian Oxiger out of Colorado at the uh, Bad Ace shop. And um, fortunately, while I'm here looking at this plate, I'm gonna have the opportunity to go down and thank some people for all they do to make my program happen. And without a doubt, Razor USA, Razor Worldwide, you gotta check them out. Get yourself a scooter, a crazy cart, a Jeremy McGrath SX500, go check them out. We got some really cool, fun stuff, and they love BMX, they support BMX, they support me. So, um, of course, then we've got Chase Bicycles, 11 Technologies, Tioga, Stealth Hubs, Oakley, ODI Grips, CD Shoes, and Troy Lee Designs. And last but not least, my trainer, Stuart White, HDX Fit. They uh, keep me bouncing when I hit the ground and keep me powerful to be out front. Once again, it's your boy Crazy Al Kane, Billy Griggs. just did a crazy bike check for us for the new Chase. It's, it's an awesome bike. So tell us what you um, what you like about this bike and uh, just a little bit about your, your return to BMX real quick. Well, some of my favorite things about the RSP3 are, aside from the fact that it just is stunning to look at, I mean, the graphics are, you know, really, really cutting edge and modern, but I, I really like that it has the aero seat tube because I love the benefit of having my seat post not twist, 
Um, I love that it's easy to just raise the thing up and down or change out to a cool out, you know, cool down seat. And you just, it's one less thing you have to mess with making your street, uh, your seat straight. Because I'm kind of one of those guys who's like, if it's just a couple degrees off, I notice it and it bothers me. So, right, right. so I really like that. I love the internal cable routing. The RSP2 had that as well. Um, but the three has got that somewhat improved. Um, it's a little bit quieter uh, this this year than than what we had before, and um, overall though we've maintained a lot of the same you know tried and true um, things that the RSP one and two had. Um, you know the dropout is still the same dropout. It's it's minimalist. It's lightweight, purely functional. Um, so you know the the, the seat stay um, chain stay combo. Some you know very simple seat stay very well thought out chainstay to give you enough rigidity but also give the bike a little vertical compliance so you come up a little bit short the shape of the tube here is really nice it'll give you a little bit of relief so nice. vertical compliance on a bike with 100 pounds of pressure when you're 47 years old <laughs> is always welcomed <laughs> so getting back into racing bmx again i mean i'm you know this is my third season back now um did the off the couch tour in 2014 came back last year and ran some some races as well and uh you know i think that you know every year i come out and i start racing you know the, my season gets underway around the springtime i mean i love that i don't have to race from january to november like i did when i was double a i mean when it was truly a job you had to go to every single race and the way it was then of course the pros today don't have that same problem right. but for me i like that i can make kind of a season out of it and you know every time i go to a race i'm meeting somebody that maybe i encountered at one point you know 20 25 years ago or maybe you know it's somebody that you know an old friend that i knew way back when racing that i'm seeing again you know i'm in the gate with frank nuccio today you know i mean it's just like so cool to see him and there's been you know a couple other guys i've ran into you know jim wall i you know ran into at rockford last year and the grands and you, know, you just see these guys that you know from when you were a teenager and you haven't seen them since and right. it's so much better than a high school reunion you know <laughs> yeah. it's so much better so i i just love being around the people and making new friends seeing old friends and you know i love being part of the modern day sport you know a lot of people have negative things to say about it that are old school and you know my advice to them is you know come out and ride a little bit you know come out and ride and see what you think you know embrace it for a change and and hop on and and see i mean i love riding clipped in i love the hard tires and the speed and you know it's 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 not it's not bad i really love it fun, yeah yeah i wouldn't be doing it you know i don't have anything to prove at this point right, you know right. so so i wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't good and he's still jumping there's still there's still <laughs> tracks with jumps on him because this track yeah. right here yeah. i've seen people jumping second third fourth yeah. straight yeah no I, I i definitely try to keep that real i mean that's the one thing that you know if i would if i was if i was ba for the day i'd say let's you know let's build some jumps that actually require you to jump them and, and pay a dividend right now when i jump stuff i do it because i love to jump stuff i'm more consistent that way right. and um you know but i i usually lose a little bit of time right but you know if i can if i can go fast enough down the first straight i can jump the jumps and stay up front so yep. yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome that's awesome well it was good seeing you again all right my pleasure. I, i've seen billy in both uh, forums now. Yeah, corporate guy. Corporate guy and BMX guy. Yeah. So, uh, so you know, we came full circle now. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. <laughs> Excellent. Great All to right. see you again, Al. Great to see you too. Hey, everyone. This is Billy Griggs. This is my Chase RSP3 powered by Razor USA. Check us out on sugarcane.com. Back to you, Billy. Hey, wait, that's me.